Winners of 10 of its last 11 games, Robert Morris is perched atop the Northeast Conference standings. Today, the Colonials will look to continue their torrid play against Central Connecticut State. Since joining the league in 1997, the Blue Devils have evolved into the NEC's most consistent winner. Two premier programs, one marquee matchup. It's Robert Morris and Central Connecticut State. Next. It over, Joe, and that's one thing that always makes a coach happy. This time he fires from three and hits. Makes to break the game down into four minute intervals. And so far, Robert Morris is kicking some butt on this one. They get the deuce from the wigway. You know, I, I, I think Central's always been known as a defensive team. And a great tip in by Kenny Horton. Gotta hurry. Thompson beats the clock and has the deuce. And that Mike Rice inherited a great team. Watch this. Wow. Posterization. Great pass. Great dunk. This Eight. Good save by Robinson. They work it around the perimeter for Chappelle, who sticks a three. Block. Here's another three as Langhurst knocks it down, and he has 10 of the Colonials' 23 points. And they beat you in rotation of freshmen and sophomores. Langhurst for three. He's got 13. But to continue. On the weave, Chappelle working against Thompson. Gets it to Robinson for the turnaround. He's got six. The kick out. Tasek knocks it down. Good ball penetration. Draw the defense, kick it to your shooter. And that's why they put pressure on you on both ends. Francisco ah! catch and shoot. His foot is on the line. It is only a two. His point is by 14 points. Here's the steal. Tamir Johnson, the bucket and the foul. And will that be the basket that ignites the Blue Devils? The coach, you tell them you've got to get it to single digits. The left-handed scoop by Thompson as Eram coughs it up. The fast break for Simmons. Out of it, but I'm looking real hard at this possession to see who's going to get the shot. Looks like Chappelle for three. There's your end. And you're putting the wigway as a point, and he makes the scoring pass to Dallas Green. Thompson tries to follow up his miss and does. Loose ball's picked up by the wigway, and he converts with 10 points, the junior. For The Wigway thought about the jumper, then figured he'd get closer. And it was a good move. He's got They're not the kind of team that can now lengthen this game with extra possessions. No, oh, but one way nice they... ...does have 16 fouls against it. Down low for the slam! Iffy Irum, his first basket. The floor for the Colonials, Thompson, Simmons, Tassel, Paul, and Johnson. And another quick bucket by that Colonials offense. They... That should be a good ball game. Sacred Heart has a lot of offensive weapons. The Wigway, the follow by Robinson. The bucket and the foul. And he... Seconds on the shot clock. Langhurst for three, and why not? Capping off a terrific. Ross Petland, and that will do it. So Robert Morris travels to New Britain and walks out of here with a 64 to 44 victory. An impressive 64 to 44, and Keith Rosari is standing by with two of our victors. Paul, thanks a lot, Jimmy Langhurst. To my right, I'll turn it to Coach first. Coach Rice, what a good win for you guys. And it seems like you have done such a fantastic job of building on a great year from last year and really hitting your stride as you get, got into the NEC play this year. Guys are continuing to understand what makes them successful, and I think uh, they're just focusing on the defensive end. I just, I, you know, you look throughout every conference, the top defensive team is one of the, you know, in the top three, and they just continue to uh, believe and continue to focus on that end, and uh, things, good things will happen. I know you're a perfectionist, so I'm sure you'll be able to find something wrong with a big win like this. What do you guys still need to work on? Uh, a lot of the points, again, such Connecticut, great team, came on our turnovers. It came when they started pressing. So I'd like us to be able to handle that type of pressure, be able to handle uh, maybe some double teams when they did it against the ball screen. So uh, again, when they faced our guys five on five, boy, I think the percentage was very low. Uh, I just would like us to take pr probably better care of the ball. But again, I'm not, this is a great win. It's a tough place to play, and Coach Dickman's a great coach. All right, Coach, thanks a lot. Thank you. Good luck the rest of the way. Jimmy Langhurst, 18 points. You had 13 of those in the first half. Really got this game started for, for your team. Talk about pacing your team. 
Yeah, like any, at any given time, you know, anyone on our, on our team can step up. I mean, we got Rob Robinson and the inside and, you know, Jeremy Chappelle. And, you know, I kind of feed off them. You know, if we get the ball inside, you know, they kick it out. You know, I, I, I got to make that. I got to make the open shots. And yesterday at practice, you know, I was struggling in the beginning. You know, I had one of the assistant coaches after practice. I was, you know, he was feeding me the ball. I had to get some shots up. And, you know, I started to get in a groove. And, and, uh, and I found that here tonight. NIT team last year. Can you compare this team to last year's team a little bit? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, we're starving right now. You know, we want to we want to get to the NCAA, and uh, you know, we came came short last year, and you know, that's that's still embedded in our brain. You know, we we don't want to we don't want to fall short this year, and uh, I think we're quicker on defense this year too. So that's uh, another thing that uh, Coach Rice strives on. Do you guys talk about last year? Or do, yeah. or, or do you wipe it away? Say I don't want to talk. I don't want to discuss that. No, we we do. I just it's just the only thing we talked about last year is just that we fell short. We right. just keep saying that, you know, and um, that's that's our motivation. Well, good luck, and hopefully you don't fall short this All year, right. right? Thank you. Jimmy Langhurst, 18 points, the star player. Oh, Paul, today. I'm here with Shamik Thompson, a sophomore guard for Central, already having a very good season this year. Let's take a look back at last year. First time an NEC Rookie of the Year came from Central. For you, talk about some of the adjustments as a freshman, and also was that a goal for you? Well, it wasn't really a goal for me. It was just something that happened along the way. I started off slow, and coach talked to me. He gave me some more confidence, and as the year went on, I was just able to do things the same way I did at the beginning of the year, just better, and improve my game. What do you think was the biggest adjustment from high school to college? Uh, I would say the, the teammates playing with people more on a higher level or on the same level as you. And, and the work ethic is, is twice as hard. All right, I'm sure maybe some of the guys uh, razz you a little bit. Uh, you've had a lot of injuries since you've come here. Talk to me about some of the injuries, and you have a face mask going on now. Talk a little about that. Yeah, um, where's the mask at? Right there, there you go. Right here. I got the, the mask on. Um, I broke my frontal sinus last year in the Quinnipiac game at home that we lost in overtime. And um, I got the mask made then. And then this year I was going to wear it, but I decided not to. So um, I broke my nose at the Monmouth game. And after that, I was like, I'm not taking any more chances. So I wear the mask from that on. How tough was it to adjust to wearing a mask? Oh, well, it wasn't really that big of a deal um, as people made it out to be. I was actually very comfortable wearing it since the first time I wore it. All right, so your team started off a little bit slowly this year. You definitely picked up pace. No Tristan Blackwood, obviously one of the best players in the conference from last year. Talk about some of the adjustments for this team as you went in this year. We just, um, we just wanted to make an identity for ourselves as a group and um, bestow confidence in each other. But playing without them means it's definitely a big loss, but that just means that people have to work harder and we have to step it up and try and do things that way we can do without him. Seven consecutive home victories for you. What is it about this building that just gets you guys riled up? It's, it's our gym. It's our home. Uh, it's our crowd, our school. So we just want to uh, want to honor them and win game, game in, game out, night in, night out. How do you go about keeping this going? Uh, we're just, just playing hard. Uh, toughness. It's going to come to that, especially in today's game. We've got a real good opponent in Robert Morris. It's going to come down to on the defensive end and how we take care of things and execute. One other thing to touch upon, obviously, is Marcus Palmer, your only senior. So this is a team that's really built to last. So uh, discuss that a little bit. Oh, definitely. Uh, we want to take every game and build on that. And with him being our only season senior, we want to we want to take that and finish out the year and, and know that next year we'll be better. And we got to take it game and get better every game. Have you picked up a little bit more of a leadership role this season? I could, I could say I have um, with being the point guard on the team. But as far as that, I mean, we all try to be as one group and just feed off each other's energy. Try to be a close-knit group. Right. All right, Shamik, thank you very much. Good luck the rest of this year. And folks, today's NEC Scholar athletes are Robert Morris football star Adam Lawrence and outstanding CCSU volleyball player Jamie Baumert. Both athletes have been named ESPN, the magazine, academic All-Americans. And look at those GPAs, Joe, 398 and 382.